God here today? Such a wonderful God today. Amen? I love God today. How many of y'all appreciate God today? Amen. Amen. Today we're going to be dealing with a subject called No Other Doctrine. No Other Doctrine. Lord help us today. Because nowadays a lot of people don't preach a lot of doctrine. It's something, you know, you got a couple of men of God that's out there, they preach the word now. And I love, love to hear them, praise the Lord. That's a couple of women of God that preach that word. And they preach, they preach the word without fear and without compromise. Can I get an amen? amen? Somebody say, preach it without fear and without compromise. Amen. So today we're going to be dealing with doctrine. Galatians chapter number 1, verse number 6 through 9. Amen. God, we ask that you bless the word as we open up the word of God today. The videos, bless it in the name of Jesus Christ. And all God people said, amen. Amen. Somebody said amen. amen. See, it's important to know what you believe in. Amen. 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 And I want to I want to do this disclaimer too. There's a lot of brothers and sisters out there that don't believe quite as I believe, but they are they are brothers and sisters in the Lord too. Amen. Amen. They got the Holy Ghost. They feel with that power, and some believe in living holy and living upright. Amen. So I want to say this: that they are brothers in the Lord. Amen? Amen. But I want us to get to the Word of God today. The Word of God says in Galatians chapter one and verse number uh, verse six through nine. It says. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Which is not another, but there will be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Y'all know that? There's some people out there that will pervert the gospel of Christ. They're perverted. Amen. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach another gospel unto you than that which you have, have preached unto you, let him be what? A curse. Oh my Lord. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that ye have received, let him be a curse. Yeah. Wow. Somebody say, God, doctrine don't matter the devil is alive. It matters what you listen to. Amen. It matters what you put into your ears. Amen? Amen? Amen. How many of y'all know holy this is right? Yeah. But when you look in the day's church, People go out of the way to try to prove a point that it don't take all that. I don't understand that. You err not by even knowing the word of God because the Bible said if the righteous scared me be said, well, Shelly, I'm down here to sit up here. You better be doing every day you can to make it in. Every single day. Don't compromise with nothing. Then you're quick to him say, you know, how do you know? Have you died? Have you stood before the judgment seat of God? Has God pronounced judgment? How do you know? How do you know it don't take all that? Have you really from the dead? Have you came back from judgment law? You don't know. Amen? Amen. It don't take all that. How do you know? How do you know how much it takes? I don't know how much it takes. chapter number, number one verse three through ten. No other doctrine. It don't take out. You know, back in the day when I was in the Baptist church because I came from the Baptist church. Amen. Amen. I ain't been holding this all my life. Amen. And I have no apologies for that. Amen. I came in when God called me in. Amen. Amen. But I haven't been holding this all my life. But if I vaguely remember 
in the Baptist church that when somebody supposed to have been repenting, there was never supposed to be a change. My goodness, they was going to the club and then all of a sudden they got religion. They would say, we said like this, they got religion. So they don't go to the club no more. They don't be in the juke joint no more. They don't drink gin and juice no more. Oh, baby, they got religion. They, that was a repentance. Nowadays, it don't matter whether or not it's Baptist Methodist, you can just say, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. You can still go to the juke joint. You can still go to the mighty club. You can still go to the club. You can turn it up. You can turn it down. You can drop it like it's hot. You can do everything you want to do. But you still say, I don't understand that. We have lost the understanding and the comprehension of the word repentance. All right. First Timothy chapter number one. And verse number three through ten. Amen. The word of God says it like this. As I besought thee to abide still in Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach what? No other doctrine. That they may charge some that they may teach what? No other doctrine. Neither give heed to what fables and endless general genealogies, which minister to questions rather than godly edifying, which is of faith in faith. So do. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, Now the end of the commandments is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of, and of faith and friend, for which some have what swerved, have what turned aside unto vain, uh, uh, what they're jabbling, jangling. Desire to be teachers of the law, neither are they, okay, desire to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor what when they affirm. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Yes. Knowing this, that the law is not made for the righteous, for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, and for ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for what? For murderers, for fathers, of fathers, for murderers of what mothers, for what? Men fail, praise the Lord. For whoremongers, praise the Lord. For them that defile themselves with mankind. For men stealers. Yeah. Oh Lord, they got people out there stealing folks. Now you, you know they be careful talking about going out all time tonight. Somebody may snatch you. Yeah. Oh, praise Lord. Some of you young men too, they may snatch you too. Yeah. Right. It'll never be any other thing. Amen. Oh, then he says, for what? For liars, for perjured persons. For if there be any other thing. That is contrary to sound doctrine. Contrary to what? Sound, sound doctrine. Yeah. Amen. 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 According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. See, saints are living God. That's why everybody don't need to be preachers. Everybody don't need to be preachers. You don't need to change perfection because you want to become a preacher. Number one, it don't pay enough. Oh, when you preach the truth, it sure don't pay enough. Hallelujah. You preach the truth down somebody's street, they were going to give up, and all of a sudden, you made them mad. They're going to hold their money in their pocket because you told them that they're on their way to hell. You told them they need to repent of that sin and get baptized in Jesus' name. So some of them get upset. But sound doctrine. Sound doctrine tells you how to hit you every area of life. It tells you how to be a good husband. It tells you how to be a good wife. Sound doctrine tells you how to dress, how to conduct yourself among the opposite sex. The sound doctrine, oh Lord, it tells you how to go in and out among God's people wisely. That's what sound doctrine do for you. Second John chapter number nine in verse number eleven. Dealing with sound doctrine, no other doctrine now. There's some doctrines out there now. It's some doctrine out there, praise the Lord. Yeah. It's some doctrines out there, and when these men die, because Lord willing, they are going to die. Yeah. Give them their false doctrine, I pray God with them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's go to the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Are we there yet? Second John, you like Lady John, read for me. Second John, chapter number, uh, I mean, verse number 9 through 11. Ain't no chapter in it, just 2 John, verse 9 through 11. Please read. 
Whosoever transgresseth and abided not in the doctrine of Christ. In the doctrine of what? Christ. In the doctrine of what? Christ. Some man made doctrine. No. It ain't abiding to some man name. It's in the doctrine of what? The doctrine Christ. Of Christ. It's the doctrine of you. We don't have a well, praise the Lord. That's why I have a problem with people that think that they don't want to go to heaven, praise the Lord. You don't have a doctrine. I So you teach us something else that ain't Jesus. Amen. So you ain't got that. You ain't got Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm. And I love prophecy. Y'all know I love prophecy. Prophesy your head off. You walk in the door, they prophesy you this and prophesy you that. Everybody got a prophetic word. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But if they don't have a standard of holiness, you need to run. That's right. If they don't believe, oh, pray the Lord. If they don't have the doctrine of Christ, if they don't do it like God say to it, if they don't cross every key and down every eye, according to the word of God, one, like you thought, like you lost your mind. Please read. Have not God, he that abided in the doctrine of Christ, he have both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you with, and bring not this doctrine, uh -oh. receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speak. I am not going to try to convert you when you come to my door. Come you know the folks come knocking on your door. Yeah. They don't come out no more since COVID. I think they saw us stand back like that. But they come and knock on your door on Saturday morning. Now, sometimes we've done that too. <laughs> yeah. But I want to mention this, you know. And so I'm not going to, do you have time to talk with me? I'm, I don't have time to talk with you. No, I'm not going to invite you into my house. No, I'm not going to try to convert, convert you today. And I'm not going to pitch you guys' speed. Oh, now when you start preaching like this, you get some people upset. What, Pastor? You ain't going to try to convert them to Jesus? You ain't going to try to convert them to the episode duck? The Bible said, invite them not into your house, neither bid them God speed. I got to do what the word says. Yes, got to do what the word says. That's as tight as tight. See, the gospel of Christ is tight, but it's right. It's hard, but it is calm. It's called. Did you finish that verse up like that? And if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. Keep reading the next verse one more time. One more. For he that bid him God speed oh, is no. partaker of his evil deeds. When you say, you got to be careful when you say praise the Lord too. Right. Don't be asking if you're on a job, praise the Lord. I don't know what praise the Lord yet. I don't know. Hey, you have a blessed day. You got to be careful when you say have a blessed day. Don't tell no adulterous person to have a blessed day. Don't tell nobody that's not going to poop with baby, baby, daddy, and my baby mama to have a blessed day. Don't you got to be careful about who you bless, who you put your power in your tongue, the power in your mouth. You're partake of that evil deed. Now, ain't that what the Word of God say? That's what the Bible say. Don't, you get mad with somebody, get mad with the Word of God. Amen? Hebrews chapter number 13 and verse number 9. Amen? Get them with sound doctrine today because it's needed. Amen? Amen? You got cussing preachers from the poor people, cussing like sailors, talking about, oh, man, go somewhere and sit yourself down. Sit your crazy self down. Using the pulpit to cuss from. Just got saved left with it two weeks ago, six months ago, and brought out there establishing church. You haven't even been tried yet. The old folk, you said you still went behind the ears. You still went behind Have you even tried the baptism of the Lord out yet? That's why you get all these crazy doctors.
pastors. Cussing preachers. Me and the Catholic can't have this in the pulpit, rubbing on women's hands and rubbing in their hands. I always try to get a private counseling session with you. Watch them men like that. Watch them dogs. Oh, let's leave that on. Sorry, that's my back out to Hebrews chapter number 13 and verse number 9. See what the Bible says. Amen? Amen. The Bible says, now this is verse number 8. Number 8 says what? Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So, and I'm going to read verse 9 in just a second, but I want you to understand that the doctrine of Christ don't change. Amen. If you had the dress holy 50 years ago, you still got a dress holy today. If you had to give up the cloth 50 years ago, you still got to give up the cloth today. It was drinking and smoking and partying and all that kind of stuff was wrong. Not God has not changed. Yeah. Right. Now the Bible says, "Be not carried away, cared about, but divers and strange doctrine." For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace and not with means, which have what not profited them that have been occupied therein. Therein, Amen. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Don't be cared about their strange doctrine. Every time somebody in there, you got to you you watch that. Right, right. Got to watch these new churches popping up, teaching all these strange doctrines. Right. Right. Let's go to the Word of God. Amen. 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 I was in the military, and a friend of mine I grew up with, he told me he was a part of a rest of fire. He part of a rest of fire. Anybody know what a rest of fire is? Rest of fire, I believe, and smoke cannabis and seeing visions. I bet you smoke enough cannabis, you're going to see some visions. I don't know. I, I've never tried before. You know, I'd be like Clinton. I was around it, I, I, but I didn't inhale. I mean, I was in the atmosphere, but I didn't inhale. Praise the Lord. Well, come on now. But the rest of fire, believe, and smoking. Getting high and seeing visions. Wow. Did you not know that some silly bunnies out there believe in that? Oh, you you, you stepping on somebody told me, Pastor. I, 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 how do I know? I, I, how do I know? Because there's been pastors, oaks, pastors, uh, pastors, uh, singers, uh, caught with married man who you want to in that car, praise the Lord. Yes, I said, Pastor, that been singers count, but singers count with no one in the car. Yeah. They must be believing that about fire and stuff, too. <laughs> Come on, see, that's all I can believe. That ain't got nothing to do with Jesus on it. Let's go to the Word of God. 2 Timothy chapter number 4, verse 1 to 3. See, I, I, I'm, just, I'm not trying to pick on them. There's a lot of other stuff out there, too. I ain't gonna go in detail about all that. That's a, if it don't, if it's not according to the word of God, you need to run. You need to run and don't look back. I'm telling you right now. You need to run and don't look back. Amen. Second Timothy chapter number two and verse number, I mean chapter number four, verses one through three. Whenever you get that, please say amen. amen. Chapter number two, verse number four. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. And verse 1, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, O oh Lord. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and what? And doctrine. People get upset when we preach what? Doctrine. They get mad and think we lost our mind when we preach what? Doctrine. Amen. For the time will come, and it's already here right now. Can I get an amen? amen. When they will not endorse sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having each of ears, and they shall turn away from their ears from the truth and shall be turned on the fables. Amen. 
Lord, there's people that will not teach. And the average person they're looking for a pastor that preach, they ain't gonna be the, they ain't gonna give them their business. The average person wanna go to a church where they're comfortable. Where they can come to church and we can sing them silly. And they, oh Lord, we had such a good time. The choir sang, y'all woman and women, God, y'all done great today. And then, you know, the choir sang, they done a good praise service. The pastor sit up, got up in the pulpit and preached greasy greens, fried chicken and red beans. And we went home. Uh, uh, better yet, you got you with the one of them pastor that was a bless me church. Everything you touch got to be blessed. And let me let you know something. We serve a God of blessing. But let me let you know something. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? If I tell you, God going to bless you with this. And God going to bless you with that. But you walk out of my church and you ain't saved. Your cars, your houses, your wreck, your uh, what the Rolexes or whatever they call them, car uh, the watches, it ain't gonna stop you from going to hate. Right. It ain't gonna stop you. Amen. It ain't gonna stop you. It ain't gonna stop you. It ain't gonna stop you. It ain't gonna stop you from going to Hades. Amen? Amen. 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 Let me back up a little bit. Then it's here. While I'm in now, while I'm in 2 Timothy, let's go verse 16. Go back up to uh, chapter 3 and verse 16. This is what's under my notes, but it just popped into my spirit right here. It says, All scriptures given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for what? For doctrine. So what do we use to establish our doctrine? My own dreams and visions and all this kind of stuff. Some dream that I said, oh my God, no. We use the word of God to preach doctrine. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished and yeah. all good work. Yeah. Maybe what? Yeah. Thoroughly furnished and all good work. See, if you ain't in the word, you ain't thoroughly furnished and all good work. If you're not a student of the word of God, and oh my goodness, you got preachers out there that say they ain't even read the word of God from cover to What you read if you ain't got time to read the word? You can't preach to me if you can't read the, even the Torah. Then you go back and read from the Torah a little bit. Been preaching. Now, one of the guys said she's been preaching all these years. I haven't read the word of God for God. What you been reading, baby? Oh, what you been reading? If you've been reading the book, what you been reading? Right. Man's interpretation of the word of God. That's what you've been reading, amen? Amen. Amen. She had been reading all them years, preaching all them years. And had yet to preach and read the word of God from cover to cover. Let me let you know something. No, we don't keep the law. That's right. But there's some things in the law you need to glean from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, Lord, that was scripture in the, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number, I think, 17, verse 17, or chapter 18, verse 18. It told the men not to ever marry a woman and a sister while a sister's alive. What kind of stuff is that? Now y'all remember Rachel and Leah? That's right, yeah. Wasn't that some issues? That's right, yeah. That was some issues with that, right? Yes. And you got some brothers that go through the whole family. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You got some sisters that like <laughs> might go through the whole family. So the Bible, you glean from that and say, well, then if you're gonna ever marry somebody else, don't marry the sister while she lives. I said, being pastor, what happened they die? <laughs> when she died, that's <laughs> Let's go to the word of God. Amen. Amen. But see, you can glean from that. It gives you standards of cleanness. Amen. The Old Testament, the New Testament don't tell a man when they can be with one, but the Old Testament do. But guess what? You glean from that. Yeah. There's certain times of a month that a woman needs to be left alone. You glean, you learn that from the Old Testament. The Bible says don't come toward her. Right. You teaching the law, Pastor. You teaching the law. Oh, praise God. Even Dr. Matei. And then the, the, the Okay, the Old Testament says when a woman has a baby, she's supposed to go certain days and be unclean. That's right. That's right. That's right. So ain't no man got no business coming toward her while she's in the midst of unclean. Right. You ain't no dog. You can't wait a month or two. What's wrong with you? Push your plate back in face. But see, even doctors will tell you that nowadays. You gotta wait six weeks before you 
and do what you used to do before. They glean from that. Why can't we glean from it? All right. I know I ain't teaching nobody here nothing because y'all know that right. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. Going to be here a little bit, down a little bit, going to be all over a little bit. Dealing with that sound doctrine because we need it, saints. We need sound doctrine, amen? Amen. Mm. Mm. Wow. I'm going to back up to verse number 13. It says, Till I come, give attendance to what reading and to exhortation and to what doctrine? What? Until I come, give attendance to what? Reading? Yeah. Amen? Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, and to doctrine. Neglect not the guilt that was in, that is in thee, which was given thee by the prophecy with the playing all of hands of the presbytery, which is a group of ministers. Amen? Meditate upon all these things, upon these things, and give thyself holy to them, that thy providence may appear to all. Here we go again. Take heed unto thyself. Mm, mm, mm. Preacher, watch yourself. Preacher, watch yourself. Take heed to yourself, to yourself. Don't you ever lie to yourself. Don't you ever kid yourself. I tell any man of God that you are a man, then you are of God. I tell any woman of God that you are a woman, then you are of God after that. So you don't want to put yourself in situations, in circumstances. Giving space for the devil. So preachers in here don't go with no sister house at no 11 o'clock at night unless you got your wife. Did I say that right? Talking about casting the devil out and laying hands on them sisters, them single sisters by themselves. God ain't calling you that. I heard a preacher talking about they wrestling with devils. In and out. So I wrestling with the woman. Don't be trying to get out of here. I ain't wrestling with no woman. We ain't no wrestling match. If she got a devil, if my wife can't touch it, pass it out, I'm going to have to take the holy oil on or something. <laughs> and sometimes you got to wrestle with them. Hey, the devil is a lot. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No wrestling. No wrestling with the opposite sex. Talk about casting demons out. All right, that just offended somebody. No hugging on somebody talking about casting the devil out. I need you to embrace my anointing. And when I let you go, that devil's going to be gone. Woman rubbing all against his chest. Her private part. I'm rubbing against all his private part. Oh yeah, he's taking his time. Oh yeah, I'm casting this devil out. No hugging nobody. Talking about casting the devil out. Let's go to the word of God. Say, Pastor, you pick it. Yes, I am. Let's go to the word of God. I'm telling you, brother, I'm telling y'all right now. If I catch any of you brothers hugging on the sister in the church, talking about casting the devil out, I'm coming up to that and I'm laying hands on both of y'all. And I'm going to have somebody pull you to the right. I'm going to have someone pull you to the left. And I'm going to cast people out of both of y'all. Let's go to the word of God. Amen? Amen. 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 Take heed to thyself and to thy doctrine. <laughs> Continuing them, for in doing this, thou shalt save both thyself and them that heal thee. Yeah. The reason why that people in now are the Lord, because the ministry of money ain't just Pastor Charles. It's the preachers that's in the in this poor big place, Lord. They're taking heed to themselves. And when they stop taking heed to themselves, they're gonna be out of this poor people. 
Amen. Amen. Continuing them. For in doing this, thou shalt say both thyself and them that hear thee. Amen. Amen. Oh, he would not. Why am I poor? Cool? The next verse. First of chapter 5. This is deviating a little bit. I'm going to get back, up, back, back on track. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. And the young women, the young men as brethren. And the elder women as mothers. The young women as sisters. But all purity. Why you got these old pastors? Me and the old undefeated black ladies, granddaddy. Trying to give it to some young book. The Bible say the elder women as what mothers and the younger women as sisters with all purity. When you look as a man of God, looking at these women in the church, you need to see purity. And your eyes ain't seeing purity. You need to shut your eyes. You need to go back to the proud eye. In the proud of the most, in the fast of the most, something wrong with you. Look at another young sister has a piece of meat, something wrong with you. You know, oh, let's go to the word of God. Honor the widows with your widows indeed. But if any would have had children or nephews, let them learn first to show piety at home, to repent their parents, that for what? For that is good and acceptable for God. Amen. 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 And talk about the world. So the church won't be burdened. Amen. Amen. Now I'm about to get back on track. Luke chapter number 24, verse number 44 to 40, 48. Get it with doctrine, y'all. What we teach at Mount concerning doctrine is what the apostles taught. Amen. It's not a mystery. You want to find out what pastor y'all don't teach? You get into your Bible. You're going to find out what I preach and what I teach. Amen? Somebody peek out there don't make sure ain't nobody missing that word out there. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ain't God good. Go to Luke chapter 24 and verse number number 44. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. Amen. While I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which was written in the law of the prophets and in the uh, prophets and in the prophets and in, in, in the Psalms concerning me. In the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the word of God. The scripture. Understand the scripture. And he said unto them, thus it is written, and thus it is it behoove Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance, oh Lord, oh Lord, and that what, and that you put anything else in that, in that tie, in this line, is going to be an error. Whatever you put there other than repentance, is going to be an error. Oh Lord, oh, I'm, I'm going to say something, going to step on some, I'm going to step on some feet right now, some people are going to cut me off. Can I step on the softy? I'm going to step on the softy. Thank you for put holiness in there. And it's still wrong. Now, repentance. You can pay baptism in Jesus' name. And I, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get some people mad with me. And it's still wrong. So, it don't do you no good to be holy and you haven't repented. It don't do you no good to be baptized in Jesus' name if you have not repented. Then see, God is a God of war. Amen? Now, baptism in Jesus' name is correct and holiness is right. I believe in holy day and night. But baby, let's get them, let's get them, let's get them, let's get, get things in order. First things first. And that repentance and remission of sins. Amen? Amen. Of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. That's right. Beginning at Jerusalem. Yes. And your witnesses of all these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endured with powerful on high. Amen. Here we go again. I'm going to kick over another second cow. Yeah. Somebody pray for me. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Do y'all know we don't have to tear it over? We made, we got a, we, one of our biggest videos on YouTube is called Terry Sir. Old Time Terry. I just said that to get people to watch. <laughs> get up be real. You don't have to tear it no more. You don't have to tear it no more. He told 
throwing him the weight, carrying me the weight. Carry me the weight. Now, now, if you wish, <laughs> God correct me. Now, God, God just check me in the spirit. Now, if you ain't living right, you might want to wait. <laughs> you might want to wait a minute. You might want to make sure you're really living right before you really start seeking God for the Holy Ghost for real. Amen? You ain't got no man at home in the bed waiting on you when you get back home. I'm, I'm seeking God for the Holy Ghost. All right, I'll leave that alone. You're not going to seek God for the Holy Ghost, and then you're going to still keep your plan to go to the Bahamas next weekend with your boo. No, that ain't going to do. Now, you may want to tap. <laughs> you may want to tap. Let's leave it alone. Let's go to the Word of God. Now, he's promised the Holy Ghost to them. But he, first thing first, they had to repent. They need to be baptized for a mission of sin. And then, now, now, can I be real? Sometimes God will switch it up. But the thing is that you need to get all these things together. Amen? Amen. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Amen? Amen? Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Amen? Somebody read it. You don't have to be my wife. Anybody. One of you minutes, go ahead and read it. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Go ahead and read it. But you shall receive power. <laughs> Y'all waited too long. After that, the Holy Ghost come upon you. <laughs> And ye shall receive witnesses unto me, be witnesses of me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. It looked like they were waiting on each other. That's all right. That's fine. It was just being nice, I guess. Amen? The Bible said, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen? Amen? Amen. That's why you need the Holy Ghost power. You need to be a witness. Yes. Need the Holy Ghost is power to be a witness. That's doctrine, saints. Amen. 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 Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was one o'clock, there was all together one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them closer to them like as a fire. And it set upon each of them. And they was all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them heaven. And there was brother that the room Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was not the bride, the multitude came together and was confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they was all amazed and marveled and said one to another. But he said, Behold, are not all these that speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue when we were born? Parts of Medes, Elamites, dwellers of Mesopotamia, and the Judea, Cappadocia, and what Pontus and Asia and Phrygia, and in Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in what? And in parts of Libya. About Cyrenees and praise God, strange and wrong, Jews, proselytes, Greeks and Arabians, we do all here to speak the one of, in, a, in what? In our tongues, a language, the wonderful works of God. So the Holy Ghost is a language. The Holy Ghost is not a language, but it's the, the sound that you hear is a language. It's a language. It's a language known somewhere. In on earth or in heaven. Why? Because the Bible says in Romans and uh, First Corinthians chapter number thirteen, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I become a sounding blast or a tinkling and symbol. And do I have the gift of tongues and understand all mysteries all night and have not charity probably nothing? Charity is something all in his cap. Speaking with the tongues of men and of angels. But right here in this chapter, they were speaking in tongues that all these men on the earth understood. Amen? Amen. Amen. Acts chapter number 2 and verse number 30. That's uh, for the sake of time. See, Peter going to get up again and preach to them folks on the day of Pentecost. Because they're going to think that Peter and them drunk. You go back and read the rest of that chapter. He said, we're not drunk as you think. But this is that we just spoke about the prophet Isaiah. Amen? Amen. Isaiah. Amen? So, Acts chapter 2 and verse number 35. Now, verse number 34. Now, this is Peter pre preaching to him now. Yeah. And the Bible said, when David is not ascending into heaven, but he said himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, send me on thy right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly 
that God has made that same Jesus whom you have crucified for the Lord in Christ. Now when they heard this, they was pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter to the rest of to the other apostles and to the rest of the apostles, men and brother, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, what? Repent. Peter said unto them, what? The same thing Jesus said in Luke chapter number 24. Right. That what? Repentance. What is repentance, Pastor? It's from the Greek word that the know it means to change. You need to come to God with godly sorrow and say, God, I'm sorry for all the wrong I have done. All the low down and dirty stuff that I've done. I'm sorry, Lord. And mean it from the heart. And after you said that, you need to change. Now, I understand it might be a process, but the process need to continue on. And you need to change. You need to change. Amen? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Stop right there. You don't have to be apostolic to baptize in Jesus' name. Amen. You don't have to be holiness to baptize in Jesus' name. Amen. Apostolic ain't even in my Bible. Amen. Oh yeah! Oh, wow, I messed up some people's theology now. Amen. Now, the apostle doctrine is what we preach. Amen? Amen. And the wrong with having apostolic in your title, but guess what? It's the apostle doctrine that we preach. That's why I believe they got the word apostolic from. Amen. So guess what? Yeah. You don't have to be a certain denomination to baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We don't have pregnant on that name. Yeah. I look forward to today that all Baptists. I said all. All, right. all. all Methodists. Yeah. All Catholics. Yeah. Ain't spraying with people with water, but they, they're burying them in water yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. Where the AME is baptized them in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. See, most people would do it, some would do it, but they scared. They're scared to walk against their organization. We been baptized them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost on oh, back in my grandpa days. Yeah. You need to do what the Bible say to Amen. 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 Baptize him in Jesus. And the Bible says, for the remission of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. For the promises unto you and to your children. And the all the fault, even as many as the Lord our God shall come. And with many other words, and they testified the Lord said, Save yourself from the untoward generation. Then they that gladly received the word was what? Was baptized. And the same day that was added into the church, about 3,000 souls. Yeah. That's right. Amen? When you believe the word of God, you want to get baptized in Jesus' name. That's right. Well, pastor, they don't do that at my church. Come over here, we're baptized in Jesus' name. Go on back there, you want to, that's your business. But I will baptize you in Jesus' name. You don't have to be a member of man. You don't have to be a member of man. If you want to get baptized in Jesus' name, and they don't want to baptize you in Jesus' name at your big brick church, come over here to this small brick church, and we'll baptize you in Jesus' name. Come on, yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Acts chapter 10. We almost wrapped it up, saints. See, the Bible says precept got to be upon precept, line upon line. Right. When the Bible say, uh, 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 actually, oh, Jesus. Amen? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. 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 Woo. Lord, have mercy. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Somebody go ahead and read it. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Let's lay down. Whoever got one of you minutes, go ahead. I ain't going to jump in this time. Y'all go ahead and read. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Go ahead and read. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter yet spake these words, what? The Holy Ghost called all that which heard the word. What? And the Holy Ghost 
fell on all of them which heard the word. And the Holy Ghost fell on all of them that heard the word. That sounds good, don't it? Yeah. See, they could have stopped right there. Yeah. I got the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> That's very important. Yeah. Man, you go to a church and the Holy Ghost fall on you. Don't you think you got it? Everything's okay now, right? Yeah. But they ain't stopped right there. See, I told you sometimes according to your faith. See, but sometimes people have faith in Jesus. They hear the preaching of Jesus. They hear the preaching of Jesus. And they have faith. And when they hear about the Holy Ghost, they just receive the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost come in. But they ain't done yet. They got finished yet. Praise the Lord. If just give the Holy Ghost was sufficient, they would not have continued on. Go ahead and read preaching. And they that was of the circumcision which believed were astonished. As many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was born out. Oh Lord, they was happy. Everybody was happy. They were jumping. Amen. All of a sudden, but guess what? He ain't done yet. He read preaching. Because on because that on the Gentiles also was born out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know? For they for they heard them speak with tongues. And magnify God. Because they heard him speak with what? With tongues and magnify God. Okay, how do you know you got the Holy Ghost? You're speaking in tongues, you magnify God. Amen? Amen. You're speaking in tongues, you magnify God. How did they know? They knew they had it because they were speaking in tongues, they magnify God. Amen. Now, see how they should be done, right? They're not. Keep Amen. reading, please. Then answer people. Yeah. Can any man forbid water uh -huh. that these should not be baptized? Yes, sir. Which have received the Holy Ghost? Can you? Forbid water. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead and read. That any man forbid water. Uh huh. That these should not be baptized. Okay. Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Uh huh. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. So baptism. Thank you, sir. Is baptism a request or a commandment? Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's a command. Even though they had been spoke, they had spoken tongues, they had been filled with the Holy Ghost, he still commanded. He didn't request, he commanded. Go ahead and bear him before in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. Go ahead and do it now. Amen. You know, look like they got it down packed. They got the Holy Ghost. Now put my bearing in the water in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. So once you get the Holy Ghost, and if you have not been baptized in Jesus' name, you still need to be what? Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. That's doctrine, saints. Okay, let's go. Let me bounce back to wrong, uh, Acts chapter 8. Amen? Amen. Amen. And verse number uh, 5. Then Peter, then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached what? Christ. Okay. He preached what? Christ. He preached what? Christ. He didn't preach a blessing plan. He didn't preach wellness, a wellness plan. And it's good to be in wellness. Y'all know that now, amen? Yes. Hey, I'm cutting back on some stuff, trying to lose some weight myself. Amen. But guess what? I can't preach that as doctor. Amen? amen? He didn't preach how to have a happy marriage, how to, have a, how to be a good dad, how to be a... And that's good. That, that, all that stuff is good. But we, we preach Christ. That's right. The only thing a sinner needs to know is that Jesus saved. That's, right. that's all they need to know. Amen. They don't need to know how to be blessed. They need to know that Jesus saves. So when he went down to the city of Samaria, he preached what Christ. Amen. And the people who want to call him gave heed unto them, unto those saying which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles, which he did. You know, for unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that was possessed of them, and many and many were taken with the power that was lame with him, and that was great joy in the city. Joy ain't the whole package. Joy is very important, but joy ain't the whole package. Now, verse 14. Now, when the apostles, which was at Jerusalem, heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who when they had, who when they would come down, prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he had fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. How did they know they had received the word of God? Because they had, they was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that they have to do. Those that had gladly received the word was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That's how they knew they had received the word. Because they obeyed the word and they got baptized in Jesus. 
man. He had laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So you hear, here's some things that we preach. We preach number one, that you need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to, first of all, how can you hear without a preacher? You need to hear about Jesus. And number one, you need to believe in Jesus. Number two, you need to come to God with godly soul and repent. I know this is a refreshing course for y'all that already know. But somebody that might be listening on Facebook or right here on YouTube one day. Oh, they may not know this. You need to come to God with godly soul and repent and change. Number three, you need to ask God to feed you with that tongue talking Holy Ghost. There's no lying, no cheating, no cussing, no fussing. Holy Ghost. Number four. Amen. I said repent, get baptized, you name number no, 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 get ask God for the Holy Ghost. Number five, number four, continue the apostle teaching. Continue the apostle doctrine. Number one, repent. Number one, believe in Jesus Christ. Number two, repent of your sin. Number three, get baptized in Jesus' name. Number four, continue the apostles' teaching. And in fellowship, amen? Amen. amen. Last scripture, we're done. And then we're going to baptize today. Amen? amen? Like I said, if you want to be baptized in Jesus' name, we're going to be here for another couple of minutes after we get out of church. And you say, well, I want to be baptized in Jesus' name according to Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 8, Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 19. Praise the Lord. We will bury you in Jesus' name. You really repent. If you really got in your heart, you want to change. Now, don't come praying games because guess what? You can go in that water, a wet devil, go down a wet devil, come up a wet devil. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Last scripture, we're done. Acts chapter 19 and verse number 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul had to pass through up a coach, came to Ephesus and found his certain disciple. I love this. The reason why I love this is because there's some good people out there that love the Lord. They love the Lord, and I love them, and they love me, and we love each other, right? If you love Jesus, I love you. I ain't got no beef with you, right? But just because you love Jesus and a follower of Christ don't mean you got the whole package yet. Amen. And he said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Mm, wow. And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. You said Holy Spirit, I say Holy Ghost. You said Holy Spirit, no, but I say Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Same thing. Some people ain't heard of that. They know how to be good Christians. They love the Lord. They just don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Don't try to take that away from them. They love the Lord. They pray. They see God's faith. They, they walk right. They want to talk right. They just need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen? And the Bible goes on to say, And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And he said, Unto John baptism. Then said Paul, John barely baptized in the baptism of repentance. Said unto the people that they should what? Believe on him? Which should come after him? That is all Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they got it. When they heard this, they got an epiphany. They got a revelation. And they went with it. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men was about 12. I'm going to go ahead and hit this last scripture. Because somebody, somebody said, well, I, well, I'm not. I'm going to leave it right now. Yes, Lord. Because I think somebody, the last thing you hear is going to be what's sticking in your head. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. God, we thank you today. Father God, we